dash off down to the Gulf Coast to the NASA Infinity Science Center, where they're in a race for space. The Stennis Space Center was established in the 1960s. It was built to test the rocket engines and the stages for the Apollo program that got us to the moon. Around 75, we started testing the engines for the space shuttle program, and we did that until the space shuttle retired here recently. While the retirement of NASA's space shuttle program may seem like the end of an era for space exploration, it's only the beginning of a new chapter in the history for the scientists at Stennis Space Center, who plan on taking humans farther into space than ever before. After the space shuttle program ended, there's a popular misconception among the American public that NASA has gone going out of business, that the space program has ended. That is so far from the truth. You know, we're currently testing rocket engines and building the next generation rocket that's going to take our astronauts beyond low Earth orbit to deeper into space. And one way that we can share that information with the public is through facilities such as Infinity. Things like this center at Infinity, right on the roadside of, of I-10, provide to Mississippians the opportunity to learn that you don't have to go somewhere else to do something very creative and extraordinary in the world today. Engine runtime 499.972. You're going to get to space, you have to first go through Hancock County. And this is where all of the engines are tested, right here. And without propulsion, you're not going very far. And going further is the vision that Stentis Space Center has always shared with the public. That vision's even more clear today with a state-of-the-art NASA Welcome Center located just off I-10 near Purlington, Mississippi, appropriately named Infinity. Well, Infinity is a completely different experience from anything that has been offered previously. When you walk through these doors, what communicates to you is technology, state-of-the-art activities. NASA and other agencies out at Stennis came together and brought a lot of our exhibits out here so that we could share the message of what we do at Stennis with the public. With interactive kiosks and space memorabilia ranging from the first Saturn I and Apollo missions all the way up to the current International Space Station, Infinity is sure to spark the ideas and imaginations of all who attend. There's even a flight simulator that allows its passengers to explore outer space while keeping their feet firmly on the ground. This is one of the closest things that you can actually get to a true flight simulator because this is a six-axis machine. And the six-axis are the same type of access that commercial pilots use to actually do the training. Now, in our, in our flight simulator, we don't have the controls, the gadgets, and the whistles, but we have the type of stimulation experience for you that when you get in it, you actually feel like you are in truly in a spaceship traveling either around the world or launch off an asteroid and come back in. And there's even some Star Wars where you get to shoot an asteroid or two. The tie-in for Infinity with the uh, flight simulator it's, it's just pretty simple, you know. It is a animated adventure ride that it sparks the human imagination. It sparks the next generation to want to be involved in exploration of the space. And it's, it's a good way for someone that may never have the opportunity to be on an airline or never have an opportunity to go anywhere and, you know, take them around, trip around the world within five minutes and bring them back home. We lose your luggage, of course, but, you know, so. But there is a movie and no in-flight meal, but we do okay. This Infinity Center is like a beacon at the entrance to Stennis. Uh, it allows people to see that there's something here of great technological capability, draws people in to understand what the center is all about, and allows people to understand that there is a major operation occurring inside the Honey Island Swamp area in South Mississippi. To be able to grow the next generation of explorers, to be able to inspire children to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. That is the ultimate outcome of this facility, is to inspire the next generation of explorers. Exploration has always been the beginning of something new. Uh, whether it was the exploring the mountains or the Great West, 
um, Lewis and Clark going to the Pacific Ocean, um, this Columbus discovering America. However people want to look at that, exploration leads to great things, changes for the better, and uh, right now our greatest frontier is space. So I believe that without it, our ability to expand our capabilities and our knowledge of the, un the unknown that exists today, it would be very difficult without exploring space. We need to go out and look and see, discover what we don't know.